Hello everyone, today I want to respond the number two most asked question that we have ever get. Number one is if Minos and Apollo are Huskies. A lot of people confuse Malamine with Huskies. But the number two question that we always get when we're out and about with them is how do you manage their hair? Is there a lot of maintenance? How is the grooming? Do they shed a lot? How is the hair situation in the house? And in this video that I record in a few days, I'm gonna show you how we deal with the hair situation, especially now that we're transitioned from summer, fall, towards winter, and they're in shedding season. And it's fun! <laughs> you will see how much hair they really shed, how much brushing is involved, and all the things that we do to keep them looking fluffy but getting all of the undercoat out because we don't want them to get matted. So if you're interested to see how we keep Venus and Apollo's coat, keep on watching. The first step that we do is to use the blower like that we blew away all those loose hairs that they have. They always have like a few loose hair here and there. And now that it's shedding season, they have even more. All the undercoat is coming out. So you will see that we use the blower to heat all those spots where they have the loose hairs. The blower that we use have different nozzles. This one that we are using now is more concentrate on the air like that it goes deeper and it helps to loosen the undercoat a lot better than the one that we were using before. This is the other nozzle, like you see this one doesn't go as deep in the hair, this one is good for the ones that are very loose on the top, not the ones that are loose on the undercoat. When you see the price of the canine blower that is around $500, you could think it's very expensive, but if you have in consideration the going to the groomers for a dog of this size is around $90 to $100 in five times that you take them to the groomer you pay off for the blower we have this blower for over two years and we have used it a lot each time they're shedding every time they get in the pool every time they go to the beach sometimes when we are traveling we take the blower with us like that there's not a ton of hair in the blower or in the cabin wherever we're gonna be staying so for us spending 500 dollars on the blower was a good investment and we don't take them to the groomers anymore we do all the grooming ourselves so for us it was worth it completely here you could see more or less how much they shed every single day this video like i mentioned in the beginning it was taken in a few couple of days like that you see how much hair they truly shed during shedding season and if you really want to get a malamune have in mind that this happened twice a year and it's so much fun Leg when I was growing the coat, and I have it on the base of the tail. There's a bunch there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I had a lot. Right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
this is the before that we are working we call this part the Grinch because it looks like the Grinch's finger yeah <laughs> so that's what we are cutting The back ones. Are you in line, buddy? You're next? It is so good. It is so good. Let's see. Yes. Did you come up good? Yeah, they come up good. <laughs> but his doesn't grow as much as hers anyways. So. He has them long too. He has a little, but nowhere near as long as her. Now they need to be brushed. Especially Venus that she's chatting. They're both. I'm gonna put in the description down below the two brushes that we are being using here. The wooden one is from Ellen with a collab that she did with PetSmart like two years ago. That collab is not available anymore, so I don't think I'm gonna find that one. But for sure, the purple one, that one is from Amazon. That one is still available, so I will link that one. And if I found one that looks just like the Ellen one, I will put that one as well. Like you can see in these videos, Venus and Apollo, they love to get groomed, especially look, you can see how Apollo is rolling over for us to get brushed. Grooming is an excellent exercise to get bonding time with your dog, not only to clean them and to get rid of all the unwanted hair. During the rest of the year, we brush them just for really quick, like 10-15 minutes a day or something even less. But during shedding season, it takes us somewhere between 45 to an hour to really brush them to take all the undercoat and loosen up all those hairs especially if when they sleep inside in our bed we want to get rid of as much as possible before they come to the bed with us
It was Venus time, Apollo. You stole it from her. all this like fluffy fluffy stuff right there yeah yes you can't really see your skin right yes all that is all here is coming out But pretty much all that fluff that's covering the skin is all that stuff that's coming up right now. Just that under under coat. So if you don't actually spread the hair, you're not gonna take it out. Fluff stuff right there. Yes. It's hard to see, but it's coming off by itself. It's very just fluffy, it's not straight at all. All that's is the undercoat. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. We got wind. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how much hair it came out from one session of brushing more or less 30 to 40 minutes each dog